Welcome back to MSK TV. Learn math the easy way with Susanna and her duck's eggs. Series number four, counting and adding. Basics in adding. Math for kids. Hey there, little learner. Are you ready for another exciting math journey with Susanna and her golden eggs? Let's jump into series number four and discover some basics and tricks for adding step by step. In our previous series, we learned how to count and add from 1 to 30. This time, we'll focus on the basics of adding these numbers. Let's count together one more time, ready? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and the list goes on. These numbers are called natural numbers, and they are also known as whole numbers or integers. If there are no eggs in the basket, we say zero eggs. Place value, tens and ones. In the number 30, the digit zero is in the ones place, and the digit three is in the tens place. In the number 21, the digit one is in the ones place, and the digit two is in the tens place. In the number 18, the digit eight is in the ones place, and the digit one is in the tens place. Practice and questions. Question, which number is in the ones place in 16? Answer, the number in the ones place is six. Question, which number is in the tens place in 16? Answer, the number in the tens place is one. What happens when there are no tens? In the number six, the six is in the ones place. There are no tens, so we put a zero in the tens place. That's why we can write it as O6. So we write it like equals zero six. You're doing great. Quick review from series number three. Can you remember what plus and equals mean? That's right. Plus means we're adding things together. Equals means we've found the answer. Let's learn how to add 14 and 13 together. Ready? Let's break it down step by step. Step one, add the ones place. First, look at the ones place. In 14, there's a four in the ones place. In 13, there's a three in the ones place. Now, let's add four plus three. Four plus three equals seven. So, we put seven in the ones place of our answer. Step two, add the tens place. Now, let's look at the tens place. In 14, there's a one in the tens place. In 13, there's also a one in the tens place. Let's add one plus one. One plus one equals two. So, we put two in the tens place of our answer. Step three, write the final answer. Now we have two in the tens place and seven in the ones place. So, 14 plus 13 equals 27. Let's review with a quick example. 12 plus 16 equals 28. Well done. New addition practice. Let's try some new addition problems using higher numbers. 17 plus 11 equals? 15 plus 14 equals? 22 plus seven equals? 13 plus 16 equals? Think about it. You've got this. Practice and questions. Can you answer these? What's the sum of 18 plus 11? Homework time! Now it's your turn to practice at home. See if you can solve these. 23 plus 6 equals? 28 plus 1 equals? 21 plus 9 equals? 24 plus 5 equals? Try saying the numbers aloud too. It helps you remember them better. Let's review what we learned. When there are no tens in a number, we put a zero in the tens place on the left side of the number. For example, five becomes O5. Oh, Great progress in counting and addition. Remember, math is all around us, just like Susanna's golden eggs. Keep practicing, and you'll be a math superstar. See you next time in series number five only on MSK TV. Subscribe, like, and share our series with parents, teachers, and young learners.